Hi, welcome to Rotten Rebel. I'm here with Sandra Solomon Fragrance. Yes, hi. And we are back with yet another fragrance haul. Yes, I love fragrance hauls, obviously, because it's so much fun to open up yeah. brand new fragrances and try them out for the first time. It is. Uh, so yeah, if you follow me, which you are, right, hit that subscribe right now. Uh, then you know exactly what's going to happen. We are going to take turns in opening up uh, fragrances and we're going to try them out for the first time and let you guys know how we feel about them. Yes. Uh, so yeah, I have six fragrances that are unisex slash male and you have six female fragrances. Yes, so do. without further ado, let's get to it and I think you should start. Yeah, so I'm gonna start with uh, my way and I did like I usually do. I aim to buy one fragrance and then I end up with a completely different. Mm. So I was planning to buy my way from Giorgio Armani, mm. but I ended up with my way intense. Mm. So this is a flanker to the original. And I actually thought that uh, my way was like a really new release yeah. and that it didn't have any flankers, but uh, this one is... So my way, the original came in 2020 and this ah. one came in 2021. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, and I do like the original, so hopefully I will like this as well. Mm. I like the bottle, the bottle yeah. almost reminds me of with the cap of their exclusive yeah. Puree line. Yeah, like a, actually, yeah. like Rouge Malachite. So let's try it on. Yeah, and if you go ahead, I'm going to read you the notes. And we have, oh my God, that smells so good. This is like fruity sweet, wow. but in a cool way. Yeah. So here fruity we Fruity sweet are. and musky. Yes. Um, it's mm. with orange blossom, mm. bitter orange, Indian tuberose, tuberose, Madagascar vanilla, and sand. No. Yes. <laughs> How's it going with notes? <laughs> yeah, Madagascar vanilla and sandalwood. Mm. Can you please give me that because it smells yeah. so good. This one straight away. This is this is my this is the this stuff is so I good. like. Yeah, this is so uh, good. And I would say that this is actually better than the original, and I think this is heavier on the vanilla, mm. while the original is more heavy on the tuberose. So the tuberose here is, yeah, so you have two different kinds of tuberose together with vanilla yeah. and sandalwood. It feels like it, it feels like there's something else in it. Uh, mm. I mean, the tuberose is a bit different to like your standard kind of tuberose. Yeah. Uh, but I, you can really feel the orange blossom. Yeah. I don't get that much of the bitter orange. No, but I'm wondering if maybe it is the orange blossom and the bitter orange that ta takes the edge of the tuberose and makes it more fresh than it usually is. Tuberose is often, I think, deep and kind of heavy. I'm wondering if, uh, if, there, uh, if, if there's like a combination of the notes that we read up that makes me feel like there's... I almost get this sort of a bubble gummy, yeah. fruity kind of sweetness. Yeah. That's why I'm thinking either um, my nose is fooled by the notes and yeah. that's the, these notes are behind that sort of a scent or if it's actually not a complete note listing. Could be. But yeah. I do get that sweetness yeah. and it's slightly fruity, like almost candy-like. But I think like the tuberose and the, the vanilla can sometimes have mm, that yeah. outcome. This is yeah, really good. I'm I, so happy with this yeah, one. that was yeah. a good one. Yes. Uh, so if we are going to just say if we think this is good or really good or bad, what are you going to say? This is really good. Mm, I yes. agree. That's a really good purchase. Yeah. Moving on and we are going to, so I believe it was my, during our last fragrance haul, I'm going to link to that one above where I opened up uh, Indian Sandalwood, I believe mm -hmm. the name is, from Dunhill. Now that one is part of Dunhill's signature collection. Uh, and in this fragrance hall, I have four uh, new ones from that collection, including, I think, two of the latest ones, something like that. Do you know how many there is? I think maybe around eight or something like that. Yeah. Uh, so, so I see where this is going. Yeah. You are going to have all of them. Yeah, soon. soon. But I don't think actually I'm going to buy like maybe one or two because they didn't 
seem like my cup of fragrance. Uh, but these ones are fragrances that I uh, really uh, think I am going to enjoy. Indian sandalwood, I can't remember if you enjoyed it. I think um, I did. But it was kind of nice. It was really smooth, creamy sandalwood. Yeah. So this one is uh, Dunhill Egyptian Smoke. I really, okay. really think the bottles are... They have that sort of a classic heavy-duty uh, steel-like uh, cap. Yeah. Uh, but they have a transparent bottle, which I think is quite nice. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to have two... Spray it on, Egyptian smoke coming right up, and you Yay. can try it out. And I'm gonna read up the note, and wow. you are awfully quiet over there. Do you don't like Am it? Am I? No, I think this is so this is really cool. The notes, according to Fragrantica, are tobacco, tonka bean, vanilla, cacao pot, and sweet notes. I mean, those notes are the stuff that I enjoy. Yeah, this is good. So I hope. I'm hoping that this is going to be a sweet tobacco. I could name countless of sweet tobaccos in my collection. Herod, for example, one of my favorites, that's a yeah. sweet tobacco. That this I is a love. sweet and yummy tobacco. And I mm. think I was kind of quiet because it overwhelmed me in the beginning because the opening was quite harsh. But this is like, um, you can really pick up the, the tobacco with that sweetness. But yeah. this to me is a unique kind of... Yes. Yeah, I like, I do. I maybe love. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Nice. This is good. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm uh, yeah, so you can really pick out the, the tobacco and then there's this mix of something that is sweet, uh, but that sweetness to me, both the tobacco and the sweetness is, has its own sort of a unique identity. So the overall blend as it is now, does not 100% remind me of something else that no. I have. And I have quite a lot of <laughs> yeah. tobacco perfumes. Yeah. So this to me as a tobacco fragrance lover, tobacco scent lover, uh, and as someone who really enjoys that combination of tobacco with something sweet, yeah. uh, I really enjoy this one. Yeah, I think it's the tonka beans that just makes this so good. So, uh, if we are going to say bad, good, or really good, what is this? Really good. Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think this <laughs> might be, like you said, this might be a, a love for me as well. Yeah. I'm really happy that I got Egyptian smoke. You guys can look oh, forward wait. to a review of it quite soon. There was no saffron in it. Um... No, so we have tobacco, tonka bean, vanilla, cacao pot, and sweet notes. There's something that is kind of saffrony. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Mm, well, sometimes the notes yeah. are not complete. No. Uh, regardless, this has been an awesome start to my, yes. both my side and your side yes. of this fragrance hall. You are up next. Yeah, so I'm going to go with... Uh, Shalimar from Guerlain, and this is Millesime Vanilla Planifolia. Millesime. Millesime, oh my god. Yeah, Millesime yeah, Vanilla Planifolia. Yeah, I just slayered yeah. that name. <laughs> so, uh, I remember when you started out your fragrance journey, yeah. I suggested that, you, one of the ones that I suggested, and you got like a ton of recommendations, was the original Shalimar. Yeah. But you, for some reason, stayed out of that one. Now yeah. this is like the latest flanker, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and I'm happy that you finally dipped your toes into <laughs> the Shalimar waters. Uh, so let's see how this yeah. one is. So what I don't like about Shalimar is the bottles. I think they had a good idea with mm. the design, but they always have has this... Um, Mm -hmm. a label on it mm, yeah that, that looks just looks cheap yeah so i do like the bottle shape yeah i don't like this sort of an ugly <laughs> no. cap and the sort of a sticker on it was a bit yeah so let's hope the juice makes yeah. up for that yeah the juice is it's what matters juice. yeah yeah okay. so what are the so notes we have 
Mm, this some, is this is yummy. Mm, I like it. Yeah, this is yummy. I can feel it. So we have some vanilla and some vanilla. Whoa! Yeah, just vanilla. <laughs> it's <laughs> got to be some vanilla. It's got to be something more. <laughs> yeah, they say. Um, actually, here I don't get any other notes. Um, There's definitely of other notes. There is other notes. So this one to me is uh, vanilla. Wow. Yeah. but a powder kind of vanilla. It is to some noses that powderiness might be a bit too much, but I don't think this is too much. It's like a no. perfect amount of powderiness. And then I don't know if it's musk or if it's some woody nose, but there's something in the background as well. Yeah, I would say some, maybe some musk, maybe some tonka beans or caramel. Mm, yeah, again, yeah. This is my <laughs> ride <laughs> up my alley. I love stuff like this. Yeah, uh, this so, is really good. yeah, sweetness, uh, an abundance of sweetness, but it's not too sweet. No. It's powdery, but it's not too powdery. There's something in the background that makes it a There's bit more nuanced. Like, I'm probably wrong about this, but something slightly animalic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I did have it in my mouth. <laughs> Oh, you did? <laughs> yes. No, ah. not in my mouth, but there's lipstick on ah, it. Okay, yeah, I uh, see that. Hmm, I don't get that. I just get this beautiful uh, sweetness, powdery sweetness, uh, but it's more nuanced than that. There's something else to it. I don't yeah. know what. I like this a lot. You like this? Only like? Is it no, this is, bad, good, this is, really no, good? This is really good. This okay. is really good. That's better. Uh, so, I mean, right now, this has been an, a fantastic start. Yeah. I hope that I am, I am going to be able to continue this awesome streak. Yeah, uh, so the next one, we are going to continue. We're just going to go through all of these Dunhill Signature Collections in the beginning. And the next one is Valence Soul Lavender. Okay. Let's see if I can open up. I actually enjoy the box, even though I don't give a shit about the box. <laughs> but uh, apparently you do. But uh, I do, they remind me of the ones from Tom Ford. Okay. When you buy the Tom Ford, it looks like a, yeah. a massive version of the ones. So here it is. The juice is sort of a purple, right? Or blue gray, blue, I would blue, say. Blue gray, okay. So let's, did I say the name? This is Valence Soul ah, Lavender. Yeah, you did, but that Boom. was a tough name. So I'm going to read up the notes mm. and the notes are, the notes are, the notes are uh, lemon, saffron and nutmeg. And then we have lavender, sage, cardamom, and then at the base, vetiver, amberwood and gayak wood. And this reminds me of something from maybe Jean-Paul Gaultier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good... Um, I'm surprised. Yeah, and it's, I think it's really, really nice. If you, if you would have uh, sprayed this one on and told me that this was a brand new yeah. Jean-Paul Gaultier, yeah, I would have believed definitely. you. Definitely. Um, I can pick up the lavender. This one is supposed to have vetiver. I can't pick up that much of it, which no. I am happy for yeah. because I'm not the biggest <laughs> vetiver thing. fan. I can definitely pick up the amber wood. Yeah. That's sort of um, aromatic uh, or spicy top. I get a bit of the sage. I yeah. don't get that much of the saffron. Do you no, pick up the saffron? Not that much of the saffron and not so much of the net nutmeg. What I do think it was cool about this one is that when in the opening, it's like you get a huge dose of something very clean mm. and then it just unfolds in layers and it just feels more complex when it dries down. Yeah. Um, I think um, since I am so used to, I have a ton of Champo Gautiers. This is a scent that it's not super unique. No. But it is so likable. Yes. This is, this is, I'm not going to say it's super safe, but it is kind of safe and it's not boring in any way. So it's not generic. It just smells really, really, really good. Uh, so I am happy with it. Yeah. Uh, so what are you going to give it? Like a, a like? A, a, is it a really good one? I really like it. Mm. Yeah. And I agree. Really nice. If you enjoy lavender, make sure you check it out. 
And it, so far, we have like a perfect streak. All of yeah. these are amazing. Yeah. Your turn. And I am picking, I think, a safe one because, or I think all of these are safe because they are so good. Uh, this is my, <laughs> this was my test strip. And here it is again. Um, this is my second mm. one from Eli Saab. And this is Le Parfum Lumiere. Mm. Yeah. And I think I did better with that name. Me and my huge nose. And I think... We've, I've been mentioning my French in some of these videos. Wow. I, I can't remember the French because I skipped those classes. So how is this? But I think Lumiere is light. I think you are right about so, that. Yeah. But since I skipped so many classes, I, I'm not sure if they mean that it's a bright one or if it's, uh, you know, I don't know what, in, in what so do you way. you mean that some lights are not bright? Some no, I mean if, if it's like light, light, lumiere, like light, or if it's brightness. <laughs> ah, That's, yeah, yeah, I so. see. So, Ooh, yeah, I like, I like the, the bottle. Yeah. So let's go. And I think we both enjoyed your Eli Saab, the other one, right? Yeah. And once again, we have something with two bros, I guess. So I'm going to mm, read you the notes. This one is quite different from the previous two. Yeah. This has, yeah, some mandarin orange, orange blossom, ilang ilang. And I do like ilang ilang in fragrances because mm. they get some like fruity sweetness from mm. it. Um, gardenia, jasmine, tuberose, patchouli, amber, woody notes and musk. Mm. So this one is really different from the previous ones because at least to my nose, this is, this is barely has any sort of a sweetness to it. Uh, this is really sort of focused on the floral aspect. Yeah, and that floral it's a blend. really floral one. It's very yellow, white floral. Mm. Uh, and I do, it's definitely not bad. It's a good floral. Uh, but I am kind of disappointed because I was expecting something like Girl Up Now, because that's the other one I have from mm. Eli Saab. And this is not that kind of fragrance, uh, although it is a really good floral one. Mm. So if you like Girl Up Now and want something similar, this is not the one you go with, because you will be like me, disappointed. Disappointed, but... Um, I think... Um, it's not bad. No, it's not. Uh, it's... It's... Um, I think this could actually go in two ways. Either it's going to be better in a complete dry down, yeah. or it's going to be going in a direction where you, you are getting tired of it really quickly. Yeah. Uh, but I do enjoy it, but this is, this is weird, and it's not that often I come across fragrances like this, in that it is right in the middle between me not feeling anything. Yeah. Like, I don't feel it's good. No. I don't feel it's bad. It's just, it yeah. just is. Yeah, I think this is going to be better on the skin. Mm. Yeah, so let's see. I have sprayed some on my wrist, ankle. Actually, wrist. now when it, <laughs> it dries that, yeah, your ankle, yeah. Um, <laughs> I do get a bit of the, the amber the and the woody notes yeah. and... Mm, and it's yeah. really different. So I'm going to say this is a good one. Yeah. Uh, how good uh, we have to leave that to later on to be determined yeah. uh, but it's not a bad one no and if you enjoy sort of the floral mix if you enjoy the notes in that yeah. one uh, and want that sort of a like a floral mix floral blend with the amber i don't pick up that much of the patchouli in this one no. with the ambery woody and slightly musky it's i can't pick up that much of the musk no. uh, then you are most likely going to enjoy this one what do you think is it good really good uh, it's good okay yeah and i agree let's move on and the next one we are continuing um the dunhill signature collection and this one is agarwood so i am expecting okay. a woody perhaps woody <laughs> kind of scent let's see how i do when it comes to the opening oh my God. No, you love those boxes. You said it. So, yeah, another one of these Tom Fordish um, boxes. And the 
bottle follows the other ones, but this one is sort of, um, I guess, woody. Is it yeah. brown? I'm a brown. bit col colorblind. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like brown. yeah. So let's try it out. And I'm really curious on how this one is. Here you go. And I'm yeah. going to read up the notes. And the wow. notes are... Oh, I got a whiff of it. Maybe some and lavender. I like it. Lavender and oat like. So what we have here is pink pepper, bergamot, then we have ginger, saffron, and then cypress, violet leaf. Yeah, and it's the violet leaf. That's one of the reasons yeah. why I wanted this, because I usually enjoy violet leaf. Violet leaf in fragrances, if it's well done, yes. gives it a unique kind of yeah. vibe that I absolutely is love. Is there a violet leaf in um, Prada Lom Intense? Mm, I can't remember, actually. Could be. Uh, anyway. Uh, iris, black iris actually. And then we have suede, mastique, agarwood and tobacco. So we have... Not... Oh, sorry. <laughs> we have a mix of notes that I usually go bananas over. So on paper this sounded like something that would be right up my alley. Yeah, Can I try really it please? It's really good. It's not so heavy in the oud. And all the other notes are just great. Whoa. Yeah. This is this is beautiful. It's so nuanced. There are so many different, like it's not. Uh, I mean, the, the name says agar. It was agar, yeah, right? Agar wood. Just agar. Um, but um, so I do pick up like a slight hint of wood. I do pick up a bit of that tobacco or something in the base. Yeah. But then it's like. It's like this multi nuance once. It pulls me to the right, it pulls me to the left. I get a bit of that violet leaf, I get that iris. It's a really, really cool. I yeah. love that it's so multi sort of a faceted. Really nice. And it does, I think, become more woody in the dry down. And if you said to me that, that this is a flanker to Prada Lom, I would have believed. Really? That. Yeah. Prada ah, okay. Lom Intense, and this one is not similar, but in the same area. Yeah, this this is this is in a way woody, but I'm gonna say this is more. This is really well blended in that it has so many different sides to it. It just feels I'm surprised in a in a really good way. This is this is fantastic. Yeah. This feels like it could be a perfect rebel in the future. Uh, so that's how good it is. So yeah, obviously I think it's really good and you agree? Yes, it's really good. Awesome. Let's move on to the next one and it's your turn. Yeah. And I'm going to go with one of my absolute favorites. I have just mm. emptied a bottle so I had to get me a new one. And this is uh, Mongerlan Eau de Parfum. Oh yeah. This is so beautiful. It's one of the most romantic fragrances I have. Mm. I wouldn't say this is sexy. I would say this is just so beautiful mm. and inviting and and yeah, I'm gonna guess uh, I mean I love Mongerlan yeah. I don't think I I tried any of the Mongerlan flankers and have not raved about it afterwards no uh, oh so you go ahead thank you oh that's oh wow the sweet opening is so wonderful yeah oh I'm sorry, girl. <laughs> How can you not say that this is sexy? This to me is sexy. Okay. Oh my. <laughs> so uh, in the top there is lavender and bergamot, then some iris, jasmine, sambac and rose. And in the base some Tahiti and vanilla, cumarin, Australian sandalwood, licorice, benzoin and patchouli. No musk in this one? No. Okay. This is good. Yeah. This is so good. Yeah. And I really enjoy that it has that, just like the other Mongolians, it has that sort of a bright opening. Yeah. So it feels like um, it makes you smile. But it's not too sharp in the citrusy, in a citrusy way or anything. But it has that bright citrusy opening. Yeah. And then it has a slight hint of something that is powdery. You can feel the iris. And you have the sweet base, but the sweet base is so well balanced against each other, against the rest of the composition. Yeah. So it never feels too sweet in any way. No, I, I was just about to say that this is a sweet fragrance, but it's a, a sweetness that is so, um, I don't know, so 
complex mm. and well made. Yeah. But this is so much more than a simple sweet fragrance. Yeah, so it has this fragrance definitely has some depth depth to it. Yeah. But and it, it is a sweet fragrance, but since it's so cool, coolly made, well made, <laughs> uh, it feels like it has that bright top opening together with the sweetness, but the sweetness is not too deep. It's not too heavy. It's not clawing or anything no, like that. No. This is something that even those who probably usually don't enjoy sweet fragrances would enjoy. Yeah. It's hard to dislike this I one. I mean, no one can dislike this. Yeah, 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 yeah no. exactly. Um, oh my, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. You, you, <laughs> uh, um, you, you said that it was, this it's one beautiful. was not sexy. No, it's beautiful. I like that this one is a combination of exactly how I perceive it. The way I perceive it is that it's bright, but it has depth, it's sweet, it's multi-nuanced, it's multifaceted. And I feel the same things when it comes to feelings about this. This one is not just sexy. It's sexy and as you mentioned, romantic. It's beautiful and if you have something nice on you, you are going to come across as classy and elegant as well. And I love fragrances that has all those different sides to it. Yeah. I think this is like a masterpiece. I love it. Wow, so uh, this is not really good. This is excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> uh, and you agree? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. So we are going to continue with the fourth one that I bought from, um, that is belongs to Dunhill's signature collection. So these, now you have bought four. Yeah. Uh, and you have one or two one. since, yeah. So you know about the prices and are they pricey? So I think they used to be around 150 bucks. I think something yeah. like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's pricey. That's pricey for Dunhill because I was, even though I enjoyed Indian sandwood, I didn't think it was worth that much money. No. But then I saw that they recently reduced the prices on the signature collection and that's when I bought scoop these up uh -huh. and so now um, these were like maybe 80 bucks okay and based on how good these three were I think that's a really really good price for it so yeah here's the bottle and this one is greenish so this is Amalfi yeah. citrus here okay. you go I'm gonna read up the notes and obviously I am expecting wow. something light and bright. I was thinking like, I'm not going to like this one because it seems to be like green and citrusy. Mm. But this is, this is really cool. So what we have here is lemon, bergamot, bitter orange, green mandarin, mandarin orange, green tea, neroli, cardamom, jasmine, mm. rosemary, vetiver, woody nose, amber and musk. And I think that it's the cardamom that just wraps the whole thing up. Mmm, this is, this is interesting. Yeah. So yeah, this one, I was also w with a name like Amalfi Citrus. If you, yeah, I mean, it was packed with notes of citrusy. I yeah. believe it had five or six different kinds of citrus in yeah. it. Uh, but even so, it's not, um, I mean, it's, it's an explosion of citrus, but it's not sharp in any way. No. I've had way sharper and citrusy kind of fragrances and the other notes really gives it um, another side that yeah. balances up the citrus in a cool way. Yeah, so um, this is, I think, I often think that citrus is like, it's fresh, it's clean, it can be nice, but mm. not so sexy. Mm. But thanks to the cardamom and the heavier notes uh, together with the citrus, this is actually, actually sexy. Whoa, yeah. whoa. And that is so interesting. So I like it because it's um, it's it, it's not your common citrus actually. No. So I think this is this is pretty cool, uh, and I am surprised that you are actually saying the word taking the word citrus. No, sorry, <laughs> sexy in yes, your citrus mouth. Citrus is such a strong um, word. <laughs> when we are talking about something that is sort of uh, citrusy and light and bright yeah. because that doesn't happen often so this one has got to be good if she does that so yeah you really enjoy it obviously yes uh, and i think i'm happy with it uh, even though i'm gonna say 
the Amalfi citrus is probably the one out of these four that I enjoy the least. Yeah. But... So it's still really good, but I enjoy it the least. Yeah, I can agree on that, but the, I mean, they are all really, yeah. really good. Yeah. So just because this isn't the best one, it's still really yeah, good. Yeah, 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 definitely. So yeah, let's move on yeah. to your, is it your fifth one? My fifth one. Mm. Oh no, this it's, is going to end soon. Yes, yeah, soon. Um, so I'm going with La Vie et Belle La de Parfum Blanche. Mm. Uh, so this is also, I think, a new flanker. Mm. Um, I have smelled the original. I'm not so fond of that one. Mm. Uh, you have the one that's called Soleil. Yeah. Yeah, and I really like that one. And it's gonna be fun to see. And I think uh, I was the one that gave you the suggestion, and I can't you remember the notes. You actually talked me into getting ah, this because I, did. I said like, no, I just like La Viette Belle, Soleil. The other ones are not ah. good. Um, but you kind of. Um, yeah, but I think you you, got you really you gotta you gotta read the notes. But I think you enjoy the notes in a way that yeah. you really. Yeah, I think so. Oh, so the ball is cute. Mm, nice. Yeah. Um, without the. Plastic. Yeah, you gotta yeah remove that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. So let's spray it on. Let's spray it on. And I think this was going to be powdery. There you go. Mm. And I'm going okay, to read Okay, I <laughs> no. love the opening. Oh, oh my. Oh my God, this smells good. Yeah. Yeah, so we have pink pepper and bergamot in the top. Then some iris, orange blossom, neroli, jasmine, sandback, and breath, sweet notes, white musk, and patchouli. Yeah. So, um, if you are following me, wow. number two, which you are, right? Uh, then you know how much I enjoy uh, like powdery fragrances. I mean, I love Prada Lomme Intense. Uh, I love um, uh, Dior Homme, for example, etc. Uh, and this one is powdery. Do you know which and one this it. is very similar to? It's one of your favorites. And I'm surprised if you can't pick it up. Are you going to say Prada Lomme Intense? No, Donna Italiano. No, mm -hmm. not Donna Italiano. Valentino Donna. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really similar. Ah, yeah, in a way. Yeah, and it's really So really this good. one is so cool. I get the musk. I get the sweet base. Uh, I love the iris. It has orange blossom. And I found that a lot of my favorite fragrances actually have orange blossom in it. Yeah. So I think there's something about orange blossom that makes gives my favorite phrase is that something special that I really enjoy. Yeah. Uh, this is, but this one is nice. It's really good. And <clears throat> as I said, I think it's very similar to Donna uh, from Valentino, but I think this is slightly more sweet, which mm. is a good thing. Because sometimes in uh, Donna from Valentino, I kind of miss something sweet. Mm. If you don't enjoy um, powdery and sweet fragrances, then yeah, don't get this one. <laughs> but if you do yeah. enjoy those kind of fragrances, then I believe you can't go wrong with this one. This one is insanely good. It's really good. I love yeah. it. Uh, so, wow. Okay, yeah. I, I thought this actually might be, I can't remember which one, which fragrance hall that I said, this has got to be our best one yet. I don't, we have, we've had so many good Yeah, we ones had now, quite a so, few of those. Yeah. But this one is looking to be probably one of the top, top ones. Yeah. On both ends. Yes. Not just mine or not no. just yours, like both of ours. Uh, so yeah, let's continue. That was an awesome one. I am so happy for you that you got it. So I enjoy Rassasi as a brand. I think Rassasi creates some stunning uh, yeah. fragrances uh, that unfortunately not a lot of uh, people know about no and i'm gonna guess it's because they are um they are not they're not doing that much uh advertising and stuff no. uh, and it seems like it's more of a, a brand that frag has to know about than the sort of a common common uh, man or a woman normal people yeah normal people <laughs> 
but I love Rasasi and I love the Layukavam series. So we have the original Layukavam. Yeah, that's so good. Just a beautiful uh, yeah. tobacco with a hint of sweetness to it. This one is... Did you say Layukavam is a beautiful tobacco? Isn't yeah. it a leather one? Oh, sorry. Leather. Yeah. Yeah. Then Tobacco Blaze. Uh, yeah, Tobacco that Blaze. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely there you go. beautiful. Uh, so this one is Layukavam Ambergris Showers. So I've been sort of a, this one, I've had my eyes set for this one for probably a year. Yes. But I've been so busy buying other fragrances during that time. And for some reason, I skipped out on this and I just thought that, hey, you know what? It's finally time. Uh, the question now is... Was it worth it? Yeah, was it worth it? I is this so. a good one? So far, Rasasi have not disappointed me. No. I don't think so. Uh, I don't think I have had a single bad one from Asasi. No. So here you go, try it out. And the notes are, uh, let's see, the notes are, this is violet mat. leaves. Yeah. Then we have tangerine, galbanum, mate, clarisage, leather, vetiver, and styrex. So based on the notes, this is going to be quite unique. And yeah. that's why I wanted it. Yeah, quite harsh, quite strong, quite masculine. I think it's going to grow on me, but it's not an instant love. Yeah, it's cool. I gotta say that there's something about it that I feel is unique. There's right? actually something uh, Sauvage like mm. in it. Uh, not exactly like any of the Sauvage ones, but it's in that area somehow. With the woods, the spices, the, um, the aromatics. There's definitely something unique about it. That's what I enjoy about it. Mm, and I think I sort of agree with you that it's this is something that is going to grow on you yeah uh, on me as well yeah. um, but the reason why I really wanted it was because I'm a leather freak and this one has leather in it yeah I can't pick up the leather but it it's it's a really unique kind of leather I don't yeah. have anything yeah. leather wise that is like this and it's like it's leather dominated but no mm. <laughs> So at the same time, you can feel so much of the other notes. So this is like cool. a weird uh, kind of leather that, where it's really bright and fresh and green around it. Yeah. And it's I not like say, a deep, dark kind of leather. No. no. And, and I think this is like the perfect fragrance to have when you are dressed up as a man. Mm. Uh, this is really classy, elegant, masculine, well-dressed. Yeah, I agree. This is classy. Uh, it has leather, which I love, but it's leather done with a twist. Yeah. Uh, and that twist makes it, uh, I think this is unique. I yeah. don't have anything like it in and my collection. And now when it dries down, this won't grow on me. I really like it already. Yeah, this is, this is so good. I am happy yes. to finally <laughs> have you Did with me. Did you have me. to wait a year? You could have yeah. smelled great a year ago. That is so weird because when <laughs> I have my my target locked on, when I have my sights locked on target, I don't know, something like that. Yeah. Uh, and this being the target. I usually don't <laughs> let go until I have it. But for some reason, this one took me a year, but I'm so happy that I finally have ambergris showers. Yeah. And I am so happy that uh, it is yet another one from Rasasi that I'm really, really happy with. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we are both enjoying this one and it's now time for your last one. Yes, and I am excited because I have another one from Guerlain. Ooh. And this is Mongerlain Sparkling Bouquet. And is this is this the latest one or? I have it, no idea. Oh, you don't know. But I'm just okay. working my way through the whole Mongerlain ah. line. So now I, ha now I have three of them. Ah. And I'm aiming to buy all of them because they are so good. And I think it was during our last fragrance haul where you opened up another. Yes, the and that's when I, one. Ah, and that's yeah. when I said that you should get them all. Yeah. And I'm so happy that you actually Did, started. You <laughs> yeah. Uh, because so far I have not put my nose to a bad Mongerlain. No. 
a sparkling bouquet, that name just sounds yeah. wonderful. So, so um, I'm my wondering... leg is going to smell so good because I'm spraying like down here on my leg and on the test strip. Thank so you. So there you go, and I'm going to read you the notes. So, wow. Mm. Mm, that smells good. Wow. So we in the top we have pear, bergamot and mandarin orange. We have some lavender, peony and jasmine sandback. White musk, Tahiti and vanilla and sandalwood. Mm. And that sounds wonderful. So you and can really feel the core Mont Guerlain yeah. in it, the core scent profile. But you can pick up the pear, which I couldn't pick up in the other one. No. Uh, and it has... There's something else to it. I'm not sure if it's the flora aspect because I couldn't feel that one that much no. in the other ones. But it, this one is really nice. I'm going to say that, well, that this one is actually very much like the intense one, mm -hmm. but with here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you feel that they are really similar? Yeah, I think the florals is very very similar mm. um, and there's just something that um, makes this different and I think that is the pear. Mm. And I was right this is actually uh, the this one was released in 2021 ah, yeah. so I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that this one is their latest flanker to the And original. it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. This one is just stunning. I mean if you enjoy that sort of a core uh, Mont Guerlain scent uh, and uh, would enjoy like a pear note in it and some other aspects change as well. I think to, to my nose it's like they made some changes or added something in the floral side of it. Yeah. Uh, then you are most likely going to enjoy this one. I think this is another stunning one from Mont Guerlain. From mm -hmm. Guerlain. So my last one is uh, one from Armaf, and this is Club de Nuit uh, Sillage. Uh, what an interesting name. So this is the only one you didn't have on, up until now? Um, or are they, there more? No, I think you're right, probably. Um, so this one, I can't remember which, maybe you guys know. If you know, please put it in the comments. This one is supposed to be a clone of something else. So for example, Club oh. de Nuit, uh, Intense Man is a clone of Creed Aventus. Uh, the one well, from... I... <clears throat> Sorry, <laughs> but I love the bottle. Oh, you do? Yeah. Um, so this one is has that same sort of a shape. Uh, have those same diamonds and stuff, but it's a bit different. It's metallic. You uh, don't seem too happy about it. No, I, I think, think it's really cool. I think the bottles look a bit tacky, if I'm going to be honest. But again, the bottles, at least these bottles, only come, only see the day of light when it's time to apply them. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Um, let's let's try it. Here you go. Yeah. And I'm gonna find the notes. So I'm gonna guess before you say anything that this is something that you might rate as a bit lower than the other ones. No. But I could be wrong. So this one has bergamot, black currant, lemon lime. Then we have wild leaf again. Thank you. Ginger, rose, iris, jasmine. So this sort of a floral side to it. And then at the base, musk and broxan, sandalwood and cedar. So please do share. How do you feel about I that one? I would say that there is something <clears throat> that makes this like tobacco smoky. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of reminds me of uh, Laukavan Tobacco Blaze. Mm -hmm. At least it, what I feel is a tobacco note, but it did, didn't have tobacco. No, I don't pick up any tobacco. <laughs> no, but uh, no, the smoky notes from Tobacco Blaze is the in smoky this. notes. Yeah, Tobacco Blaze is a tobacco, but I think that is like it's like cigarette smoke. Ah. And there's something that reminds me of that in this. I get the, the woody side of it. Yeah. Uh, I can't exactly pinpoint. Uh, so this one says sandalwood and cedar. I can't exactly pinpoint what it is. But there's definitely a woody side. And the citrus is strong in the beginning at least. Uh, I do pick up that violet leaf iris and uh, yeah. rose trio. There's something of that in it. Um, I don't pick up that much of the jasmine. Can you pick it up? No. 
Uh, yeah. So this one, interesting. <clears throat> um, it feels like. It's like woody, fresh. It feels like an amazing uh, one that I will most likely put on more during those warmer days or when I go on a vacation because it's sort of a, it's really light, it's bright. Uh, it, it doesn't have that much depth to it. Uh, and it has this really, it's hard to descri describe it, but it's like a cooling effect, like icy. Yeah. It which does. is quite cool. So this one, I think this one is, it, it's, it's really, really good um, in a fresh way. So this one to me is something uh, that I would put on during a warm day. Yeah. So uh, I really like it. You really like it? Yeah. Okay, awesome. So that was it. Six on my end, six on your end. I think this has been a fabulous, fabulous fragrance haul. Yes. Now, if you are going to pick one from my uh, fragrances mm. that you think is the best one, which one is going to be? I Can I pick two? Okay, two. Yeah. Whoa. So we have uh, Amber. Uh, agar. Uh, agar. Ah. Agar and Amber shower. So you're not actually going to pick up the <clears throat> one, uh, the Egyptian smoke with the tobacco, sweet tobacco. Yeah, I am. Whoa, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, and... Uh, so this is the best one. <laughs> and I think, um, hmm, this is so tough, but I think I sort of agree with you. Uh, but the two, these two from, I mean, all of these from Dunhill Signature Collection was fantastic. Yeah. But these one was kind of epic and the ambergris shower was fantastic yes. so yeah good ones oh my this is so this is this is c can i pick six no five <laughs> like oh, that. now you're um, discriminating one of them i think i think this one is going to come up on top because it was so powdery and so sweet and beautiful i really enjoyed this one and then it's almost like a toss-up between the um, the monger lands yeah uh, but i gotta try the my wow, way again my, my way is really good mm, the mm. two bros was it was my way that had two bros in it right yeah. uh can i try the shalimar oh my shalimar is actually i um I, I might I, I, yeah I, I mean i could be wrong but this one is at least to my nose, a bit close to one of my all-time favorites, and that is Dior wow. Homme. Wow, and I love Dior Homme. Wow, I could buy this and use it instead of Dior Homme. Uh, like, a, like a, yeah, I Can like... Can you say it? Yeah. So, I think uh, Shalimar goes straight up. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, La Vie Belle, the new flanker, and it's like a toss-up between the two monger lands. The Eli Sauv was not 100% my cup of perfume. Uh, my Way is really, really cool. I think it's a fantastic one. Yeah. That two burrows, the way it's done is amazing. But if I only have to pick three, it's gonna be these three. So, okay, this was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I am going to enjoy the shit out of mine. I hope that you are going to use yours yeah. a ton. If you enjoyed this fragrance haul, then I would highly appreciate it. If you would like it, thank you. It really helps me out. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe and that notification bell. And please do head on <laughs> over to Sandra Salomon Fragrance. I'm gonna put a link to her channel in the description below. Uh, check her channel out. She has a ton of fragrance content for both men and women. Hit subscribe, hit her notification bell and say hello. Both of us really enjoys chatting with you guys. And that was it. I hope I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.